Good morning, 8th grade. Welcome to Shakespeare Virtual Learning. Welcome to Romeo and Juliet. So if you'd like to follow along in our No Fear Shakespeare, what you want to do, and I put it in the Google Classroom, but the thing that you need to understand is that when you're reading it, one of the pages is the original Shakespeare, the play, the beauty of William Shakespeare. The second part is the same exact section, but it's in modern English. So if you didn't understand the Shakespeare, then you go to the modern English and you read it and it makes a little bit more sense. Yes, you could take the easy way out and just read the modern English, which is fine. But the interpretation skills that we've been working on throughout the entire school year should help you with understanding Shakespeare. Now, if you open up your books um, and we scroll down, first go to characters. There is an introduction to each character that's going to pop up in the play. First, obviously, we come up to Romeo who is our main character, who is our star-crossed lover with Juliet, who is from a different family. Now, these two families are warring. They're just wealthy families that just don't get along, um, and they find every reason in, under the sun to go after each other. Okay, And this feud has been going on for a long, long, long time. So what the, they do is the members of these powerful families go out in the streets, and cause some ruckus because they got nothing better to do. So when they see each other in the streets, though, trouble starts. And the fact that Romeo is from one family and Juliet is from the other family, nothing good can come of this. Now, when you look at Shakespeare plays, Shakespeare um, has two different kinds of plays, and they're all the same format. Basically, either if it's a tragedy, everyone pretty much dies at the end of the play. If it's a comedy, which this is not, but if it was a comedy, everyone gets married at the end. So as we're going through this, um, we can pretty much from the very first um, introduction to the play, we can tell that this is going to be a tragedy. So if you look at Romeo and Juliet, we also have the Capulets, uh, the nurse, uh, Mercutio, we have Friar John, um, Peter. So what I'd like you to do is go over the characters and take a look and familiarize your with yourself with them so you get a better idea of who each character is. Now, the play opens with a prologue. The prologue is by a gentleman named Chorus. Now, I know we sing choruses, we have choruses to songs, but the gentleman's name is actually Chorus. And he opens with an introduction to the play. And from here, you basically know the entire plot of the play. Why would Shakespeare do that? He's kind of setting you up so that you can follow along and you know the tragic ending that's going to come. And every moment these two star-crossed lovers fall more in love with each other, it's more painful because you know of the ending that's coming down the line. So it starts off, two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventured pietous overthrows doth with their death bury their parents' strife, the fearful passage of their death-marked love, and the continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end naught could remove is now the two-hour traffic of our stage, the which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss our toil shall strive to mend. So the prologue, the very beginning of the play, is setting up the fact that, one, these two families are at war with each other, rage, anger. Second, that Juliet and Romeo are from two families and they will meet, that their love will end in death for both of them, and that in their death, possibly these families that have been raging forever will finally find peace within each other. And the two-hour traffic of our stage, that's the performance of the play that you're about to witness. So without further ado, let us begin our play. 